What's up my ponyos, Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here, guys. As the title suggests, we're gonna be going over the S View wallet case from Samsung for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, last year I was super critical of this case because quite frankly, I didn't find it very useful. The product was very poorly manufactured. When I got it, it was warped. And I just think that the accessory there just wasn't very helpful. I never caught myself using it and there were some gimmicks that were annoying. I'm wondering if they upgraded it, if they added any versatility or extra software updates to it. Let's check that out here. Nonetheless, this is not a sponsored video. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing availability. Nonetheless, let's see if it can change my mind. Let's jump right into it. This is the S View wallet case for the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra from Samsung themselves. Now last year I was very critical of this because I felt it was poor quality and it was just rushed. Nonetheless, it looks like here they've retooled it. They've added a different design. Let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. Oh man, wow. It's, uh, it's very impressive. A lot of dust that came off of it, uh, presumably from this plastic here, but a uh, few things to note, it, it's, it's like one of those liquid silicone cases. It feels very, very pleasing to the touch here. Uh, I really like how it wraps all the way around. It is still a magnet for my oils on my fingers, which is all right, but this clearly is way better than the previous years. Let's go take it here out of the packaging and show you first the outside. As you can see here, it looks like they've reinforced and retooled here the camera part. In the past, it was just a big old blob. It didn't have the stuff in between. I really like how that looks. As you can see here, it is definitely a dust magnet. There's something in the box here that is getting on the case itself, but that liquid silicone wraps all the way around the case to the back. You can see here where the hinge is, it's loose. It doesn't have that polycarbonate core and it's thick. It's nice and reinforced. I really like that. The front side here is a little bit thinner, although it is same similar material. As you get to the S view here, you can see the cutout and punch out for the speaker grill. You got that square punch out for the S view, which hopefully should provide you some additional features, weather notifications, all that good stuff. It clasps nice and flush here to the edge. I really like that while still giving you a nice ergonomic look. You have all the cutouts here, the S view pin, speaker, charging port, all that good stuff. Along the side here, you've got a metallic buttons, which is a big level up from last year. Last year it was plastic. I really like that touch. The camera cells or the little slots here are raised a little bit. So in the event that it lands on its face, it's not gonna be scratching the lens themselves. Let's go ahead and open it here and show the wallet. Wow, I'm really pleased, look at that. Interesting. So as you can see here, they've got it lined with the microfiber material. It's not as soft as the leather. The leather had a very, very soft, almost suede feel. This is definitely more synthetic or artificial. As we come closer, you can see that the microfiber material goes slightly up to the lens, but not all the way. But you can also see here where it stops around the edge and where the polycarbonate case grabs. I really like that. It's nice and rigid while still providing you flexibility and enough cushioning in the event of a drop. This is supposed to be military grade, which is nice. It doesn't look like there's any extra tooling or protection on the inside for drops and whatnot. Nonetheless, this is gonna be able to hold it right into place. Coming over here to the flap or to the folio, you can see you have an indentation here for your cards. It looks like it's just one sleeve to be able to hold onto it. And this is silicone in nature. It kind of flaps. I wonder if, if you catch it wrong and it bends that this could cause a crease. Um, it's interesting here. Um, it's got a groove there on the inside as well. I wonder what that's for. It seems like this can hold probably up to one or two cards. Let's go ahead and add a second one to see if we can't get that slit in there for it to fold right there. It's a little bit too big. I'm a little uncomfortable putting a second card here, but what's cool here is you might have the ability, if this is a, uh, a contactless, to be able to tap your phone as your wallet, which I think is gonna be a good touch. Installation here is super straightforward. You just push it in from the bottom and go to the top. Okay, it is not as uh, grippy. It is not as a flush grab around the phone here. It kind of just pushed in there and it wedged its way in. The leather case it itself was actually a way better fit. It felt 
I really like how that looks. Man, with that liquid silicone, and then you've got the light Samsung embossed there. You got the cameras protected here. It does lip up, so it's not gonna be scratching against your phone. It's just gonna be scratching against the silicone, the liquid silicone. If you rub it on its face as well, it's not gonna be touching your screen at all. I really like that. What, if, what I like about these folios is you're not gonna need really a screen protector. Now, I'm having a problem here with this button. It's not super clicky. It, it was metal in nature and it, it it was way clickier on the leather, but this is very difficult to press it. I, I don't like that. I don't know if it aligns right there. Nonetheless here, as you open it, it's gonna turn on your phone. The S View just initiated, which is cool. It didn't initiate before. You got a pretty cool animation here as it flips from there to there and you get closer here, you can see that you've got some of the most important things here like your battery power, you've got notifications, date, time, all that good stuff. I think that's nice, that's really nice. I like how you've got the punch out here so you can still play music. Uh, it seems like it goes away a little too soon. I do like that animation though, it is really, really nice. Okay, now that, it, now that it's activated here, let's go ahead and look at some of the features here that the S View has. If I can get this focus right, there we go. Looks like you've got a bunch of different uh, watch face or S view faces here that you can um, illuminate. They brought back these little tiny animals that are kind of cool. This is actually pretty fun. I like that. We got these really bulgy clock if you want. Now we've got the animals here. I like that touch. Oh, that's cool how it animates. You got a little bunny rabbit. That's really cute. Nextly here, we've got these little circles. They change as you open and close it. I think that's kind of a fun touch. We've got a timeless clock, which I think is fun. Does it change the animal every time? No. I really like this as well. This clock is fun. It changes colors as well as you flop it. You get a couple more that are, are at random, like this is the, the normal one. You got a smaller one if you want it. Probably shows more, more notifications. That's really cool, you got an analog clock. Here are all the options here to be able to choose from. Lastly here, I did wanna illustrate that you can still do uh, wireless charging, which is awesome. You've got plenty of room for like a cheap pad. It's still gonna charge here on the backside if that's something that you wanna do. No problem here, it's, it shows you through the S view that you are charging, which is really, really nice. and actually shows you how long it's gonna take. Nonetheless, there isn't a magnet here to be able to fit there, but if you have something like the dock or whatever, you can actually just throw it on the puck, let it sit there on your desk or on your nightstand. You can still charge at your leisure and still get notifications. All right, my pony heels, well, the S-View wallet case, I think is definitely a success. This is really, really awesome. A little bit expensive here. Nonetheless, I think the versatility of to be able to carry one of your cards and be able to use it wirelessly as a touch if you've got that contactless, I think is huge. Otherwise, you can use Google Pay, which is cool. Uh, I really think that they've improved the S-View cover screen uh, customization here. You have a fun little animations or cute little animals that can kind of uh, lighten up your day. Other than that, I really think that they overhauled this and did a great job. I really like the liquid silicone, and I really like the touch here on the back, how it looks so cool here. With that said, my Pungyos, uh, not a sponsored video, but I wanted to do an update because last year I was so critical of this. They definitely passed with flying colors. I highly recommend this. With that said, down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.